Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from the 25th of February to the 3rd of March 2018 and this is for you coming from Aquarius. So let's start with the 25th Sunday which doesn't start well for you at all. It's going to be a very bad morning, afternoon and early evening period. You can be let down, you can have accidents, accidents can be verbal, physical and even mental or emotional and you will have plenty of difficulties with whoever you are with. Secrets can be popping out or something said, something done is not agreeable. It's you who is listening to me, so this message is for you. So it's not a question of others not doing this or that, it's all about you. So tell yourself you have to be very careful. Being over emotional is another issue and don't be too touchy about things. And be careful of the company you keep can be over drinking and overdoing the bad things. Evening nightfall period improves by a little bit only. Again, too many emotional planets are there. So you don't have the logic and you don't have the facts and figures to think with. You only have the emotional area. And these planets tend to make you so emotional that you can get infatuated by bad habits or by people. So throughout the day, be careful who you are with. That's the whole key. If you are with your family people, there can be also differences and emotional sensitivities. You have to be very careful. Don't bring them up, especially in the evening nightfall session. The 26th Monday for you is an excellent morning and afternoon period. You just get very lucky. Good news comes for you on this 26th Monday whether at your place of work or whether in business. And you are going to be a person very lucky in everything you attempt to do. Chasing for a romance, try it in the morning, afternoon, and you will see how well you are received. And in anything that you are chasing for, you have to, you cannot get everything under the sun on this morning, afternoon period. So target what you want and chase for that. And you're going to come up, you're going to come back with a lot of things in your, in your hands. So it's a day where long-term planets are also seen and whatever you do well is going to be looked on as long-term benefits for you. Evening and nightfall period, not very good. You can meet people very stubborn or you yourself could be very stubborn. You can meet people who are want to take charge or you might behave that way as well. So conflict with people is seen and wanting to plan big and talk big and wanting to do everything big is also there. It's a planet that's not very stable for you, you coming from Aquarius. And it's a planet that builds up easy opposition between you and the person you are with, whether it's a romance, a marriage partner, somebody you are working with, or somebody you are doing business with. So if you don't really have to be out, don't bother. But if you have to be out, then you need to be very careful. Okay? Let's go to the 27th which is a Tuesday. It starts very well for you and it produces plenty of opportunities. And so you'll be a person who will have many, many opportunities on the 27th or Tuesday. And you will see that whatever you try to do is full of opportunities in all areas. Try not to be aggressive. I like your evening very much. Evening, nightfall period, you, whatever you want, you can get. Very fast planets are there and you can meet people most unexpectedly who can help you, whether in job, whether in business, whether in any area of your life. And so the whole day, two things. One is don't be aggressive. And the number two is be on your feet quickly because they are very fast planets, even daytime, that bring quick opportunities on this Tuesday, which is the 27th. Evening, nightfall, I want you to be out. Unexpected meetings and possibilities are very good. 20th Wednesday starts very badly for you <coughs> and anything that can go wrong on this 20th Wednesday is waiting to go wrong. Firstly, don't expose yourself to risk by wanting to be number one. Better to be part of a team, otherwise the bullets will come for you. And tell yourself to keep clear of people who are troublemakers or you will be parceled as one of them as well. You need to follow rules. You need to be a person who respects those who are superior to you or those who are your bosses. Even in business, 
you cannot afford to show your arrogance and you need to be a person who needs to be teamwork orientated and definitely a person who is willing to support the ideas of others. So much to do just to get your morning afternoon periods well. Try and lie low. Don't expose yourself to risk. Evening and nightfall periods extremely good and they bring so much business opportunities or good news that you can meet people to help you in your job or they bring the levels of your communication to become excellent. In fact, they are waiting to produce solutions for you where earlier part of the day you couldn't. So if you're working late, maybe a good idea. And if you're socializing, you're going to meet very important people. So remember, no level of arrogance throughout the whole day. The 1st of March, another very difficult day for you. This time is heading more towards emotional areas. And this planet of arrogance, this planet that makes you somehow not agreeable with anybody, there's no teamwork. Now in the emotional area, it can also affect you badly. And of course, in the work area and the business area as well. So you are at a disadvantage on this 1st of March, Thursday. Disadvantage in the sense that whatever you try to do, there will be opposition coming your way. People will not be agreeable. So why not be agreeable with them yourself? Be supporting their ideas. Nobody can then go against you. And don't allow others to take too much charge. Okay? Or rather, let others take the charge. You should not be uh, full of wanting to be in charge. So a very difficult Thursday for you, 1st of March. The evening and nightfall produces many good solutions for you. And many good contacts for you and you'll have the chance to do very well in the evening nightfall session with whoever you are and on a success, success rate which will be very high. So lie low morning, afternoon, try to get busy even at your place of work in the evening. Nightfall, go out and enjoy yourself. Very good contacts can be made on this 1st of, of March. But watch out, morning and afternoon going to be really bad. The 2nd of March, which is a Friday, as too many emotional planets, you are planning to make changes, the emotional area in you regarding emotional areas not very stable. So you become very moody and very changeable, very difficult to work with you that way. And you may just miss all your deadlines and you may just be a person who cannot finish your work. And so teamwork will become very poor as well. So it's a difficult morning afternoon period. It's not a bad, bad day, but it's because of your emotional state that the situation works, worsens. But watch out, there's a planet there who makes mischief in the morning, afternoon, who gets people to go against you, people to let you down, people to disappoint you. So you really cannot depend on many others on this morning, afternoon period. You'll have to try and do things yourself. Evening nightfall gets really, really bad. Accidents can take place. You can be in the company of bad habit people, too much drinking, too much other stuff, which is not good. And you can be a person very let down, getting very bad news. And if you have a date, for example, in the evening nightfall, I'm not saying don't go, but be very flexible to whatever happens. Don't show your arrogance. Don't show your anger. Try to be a gentleman or a gentle lady and try to work it out slowly. You can always be on top of these planets because I'm making you aware that they are troublemakers. So rather than give more trouble from your side, just take the back seat and tell yourself, I'm not going to create problems. Let the problems sort themselves out. If you don't really have to be out in the evening nightfall, I rather you don't on this second March, evening nightfall period. Accidents can also take place. Thieves may even steal your things. All these nasty things are written that can work, that can happen. And stay away from the sea in the evening nightfall period or for the whole day of the second March. The 3rd of March, which is a Saturday, again doesn't start well for you and so produces trouble from people who may be your family orientated, maybe the romance partner, maybe the your people you work with who you may be wanting to spend the Saturday afternoon or morning. Everything goes wrong somehow. It's best to let others take charge because I'm talking of you and your horoscope that can do many wrong things by being stubborn, by being dominating. Let others take charge. 
be the follower, be agreeable, be supporting what their plans are. You will see how much more you can enjoy yourself on this morning, afternoon period. There will be people there you don't like, well, just stay out of their way. Evening nightfall is really wonderful. These wonderful planets of evening nightfall are trying to get your situation good in the morning, afternoon. But they can't stay long. They create little good instances for you and then the negative planets take over. Evening nightfall, plenty of solutions you will find about how to make your morning, afternoon better. And you will see that everything you do will be of top rate in the evening nightfall session. There are long-term planets there as well. So they build up long-term contacts, whether to do with business or to improve your job or the romance area and even in your marriage area. So go out with the people that matter to you and you will see that evening nightfall brings plenty of good opportunities for you. You're going to get something very well done in the evening nightfall period. That was the 3rd of March, Saturday. Well, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50.50 for a 90-minute Skype session. And during this 90 minutes, I will talk to you about your next 7 or 8 years in all areas of your life. And I will use your date of birth and your time of birth and look at your palms and even face read you while I Skype with you. And uh, based on that, we'll get things right and I'll be able to advise you in every area of your life how to realize problems when they come or how to make use of the powerful good years that may be ahead of you. And so go to Skype and go to Facebook, leave me a message or send me an email and let's get down to getting your next five or six years as best as possible. Until then, thank you and good luck.